Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about horizontal translation of polynomial functions so that if I give you a polynomial uh, equation you can translate the graph left and right as you please. So let's give you guys a random equation. Okay, so I just wrote out this equation randomly. f of x is equal to x minus 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 5. So let's draw this equation in Desmos and see what the graph looks like. So f of x equals x minus 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 5. And you can see here I have a graph. And um, if I if I uh, zoom out a little bit, okay, this is my line, and let's change the x-intercept a little bit because the graph looks a bit skinny right now. So let's change the x-intercepts to uh, negative 10 to positive 10. Okay, and you can see that. Um, the graph intersects the x-axis at negative 2, um, 3, and 5, okay, which are the numbers that are stated in the brackets but in reverse. So uh, what I want to do now is I want to move the whole graph to the right by, uh, let's say, 2 units. So the way I would do that is instead of writing the equation like this, I'm going to write f of x minus 2. Okay, and that is going to shift the whole graph to the right by 2 units. And here's the reason why it's going to do that. Okay, it's because if I replace wherever x occurs in this original equation, if I replace x with x minus 2, then what's going to happen is the equation is going to become x minus 2 minus 3, x minus 2 plus 2, x minus 2 minus 5. So if I simplify this equation, then it's going to become x minus 5 times x times um, x minus 7. Okay, so if I draw this equation right here, okay, in Desmos, then without even drawing it, you can tell just from the equation, okay, provided you've done my previous tutorials, that the x-intercepts will be 5, 0, and 7. Okay, so this first equation has x-intercepts, so when y is equal to 0, x is equal to 3, negative 2, and 5. Right, that was the x-intercepts. With this new equation here, when y is equal to 0, x is equal to 5, 0, and um, 7. So you can see these three numbers are essentially these three numbers plus 2. Okay, 3 plus 2 is 5, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, 5 plus 2 is 7. And that's why the graph is going to shift to the right. So let's have a look at our graph. Let's have a look at our graph. Now the quickest way of drawing it is instead of writing y is equal to um, all that stuff I just wrote. So instead of writing y is equal to x minus 5, x, x minus 7. Okay, so that is our new graph. Uh, actually, let's change the color of it. So let's change it to purple so you can see the new line. So you can see the purple line is essentially the red line, which is our original equation, moved to the right by two units. Now, 
a quicker way of writing that is instead of writing it out, I can just write y equals f of x um, minus 2. And that just creates the new line based on what f of x was before. So that's a shortcut way of doing it. Okay, thanks for watching the tutorial on how to move the graph uh, left and right. Uh, see you guys next time for another polynomial transformation tutorial. Thanks for watching.